schools across San Diego County are dismissing students for summer break, so we're here at the Fleet Science Center in Balboa Park to find out more about their fun and educational programs happening. And we're joined now by the museum's president and CEO, Steve Snyder. Thanks for having us. Well, thanks for coming out. So can you tell us about the summer camps happening here? So we have uh, half-day and full-day summer camps, week-long summer camps that happen all the way through to just before school starts again. And it's an opportunity for kids to come in, spend the day, really immerse themselves in STEM, uh, and not to have any summer slide, but have a fun way of kind of uh, keeping up on their, on their uh, educational opportunities. And how does camp here differ from, you know, other camps being offered as a parent it can be overwhelming to kind of decide which programs to enroll your, your child in. Oh, there's lots of opportunities, which is a wonderful thing, right, to be able to go, a lot of opportunities for kids to spend their summer. Here at the Fleet, we are really about hands-on engagement, right? So you get in, the kids get in, they make things, they test things, they try things out, uh, and it's a great way for them to just kind of uh, let their inner scientists run free and have a lot of fun while they do it. Who would be the, the ideal kid to come here? So our summer camps are not supposedly just for those who are really into science, it's really for anyone, so they, be t they tend to be very, very fun, very, very open-ended, very, very exploratory. So it's a great way for someone just getting into science, somebody who's really into it as well, and everybody in between. What are some of the benefits of learning STEM in an atmosphere like this? Well, the key thing here is that this is about doing, right? It's not about uh, the content that you learn. You learn content. This is about the science process, thinking scientifically, and really following your own interests uh, in exploring the world, because that's what scientists do. We get questions that we think we're really geeked back, and we're able to follow those questions to answers. That's what we try to do here in our summer camps and with our exhibits as well. As you come in, you have your question, and let's see if you can get it answered. And camp is only one of the activities taking place this summer. Can you talk about some other exciting events happening here? Well, we have lots of great things going on. Uh, Friday nights is our fr uh, family Friday nights. And so what we're going to do is we're open until 10 o'clock. So come in late with your family. We have special admission pricing after 6 to explore all the exhibits, pause, play, etc. We have live music out on our patio, which is a great way to spend a Friday evening. Um, Saturday evening, it's for adults. So we have our adult recess on Saturday evenings. We're open again until 10, 21 and over between 7 and 10 o'clock. And you get to come in and play at our new exhibition, which is all about adult-sized recess experiences. So we have a 31-foot slide, an adult-sized ball pit, an augmented reality sandbox, and let yourself be a kid again in the summer here at the fleet. So it's mazes, it's hopscotch, it is slides, it is merry-go-rounds, all the science bent, and all for kids and adults. And another thing happening this summer, the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Can you tell me how the Fleet Science Center is commemorating that event? So one of the great accomplishments of science and technology was actually getting a human being to walk on the moon. An incredible thing, it's the 50th anniversary this year, July 20th, and we're doing, we're blowing out all the stops for this as well. So we have a new space exhibition that'll be open at the time uh, with an exhibit called Sun, Earth, and Universe. We're bringing back our Hubble experience and a brand new virtual reality simulator that will put you in the Apollo 11 mission in virtual reality, launch you into space, get you onto the moon. So a great new experience that we're doing there, plus special events during the day, and and a special happening that we're planning that I can't tell you about just yet. Um, I understand that you do like some workshops throughout the city? Well, the fleet is not just the building here in the park. We are actually a countywide organization. So we're working in neighborhoods all the way from San Ysidro up to Escondido, all the way out to El Cajon, all the way to the ocean, all the way and all across the county, bringing the experiences we can indirectly to neighborhoods. Uh, and then the opportunity of the fleet is, the first Tuesday of every month, we are free come on in to remove all the economic barriers that are there. You can come on and explore all the exhibitions for the entire day. So for anyone who maybe hasn't visited the Fleet Science Center recently, tell us about the, the new additions that you're most excited about. Well, we've got a lot of new stuff, and we're always trying to add new things as well. So we have our Don't Try This at Home live show, which is an exciting live stage show that we haven't done uh, in a while. We've got our new Pause Play exhibition, which is these huge playground experiments uh, that you can do yourselves with your families, with your kids. We have our new films, so uh, Super Power Dogs. If you're a dog fan, you've got to see this IMAX film. Just remember to bring tissues. Uh, and a new film we're going to open this summer called Turtle Odyssey, which is going to follow a turtle, a sea turtle, from its hatching as an egg through its entire life. Um, on the IMAX screen. So we're always looking to create new experiences, new opportunities for people to engage both here at the fleet and out across San Diego County. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Rachel? Okay.